A Marian Meditation, The Annunciation. April 8th, 2013, we celebrated the Annunciation, usually celebrated March 25th, but because it fell in Holy Week, that date, it was transferred to April 8th, the Monday after Easter week. Here are some thoughts for reflection. In the Annunciation you can find in Luke chapter 1 verse 26 to 38. And Mary is a model. A model in many ways. First we have Mary's silence. This happened in the silence of her room, of her heart. For us to be able to hear God we have to have silence. Silence. Speak, O Lord, for your servant is listening. Mary was a woman of prayer. Silence necessarily leads to a deeper prayer life if we're open. And then from that, the angel appears to Mary, announces her to her the good news, and Mary gives her a fiat, her yes, her behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to thy word. Mary teaches us the importance of docility and saying yes to God. The only way we're really going to be happy in our lives is when we try to discern God's will in our lives and we say yes to God's will in imitation of Mary. And that yes resulted in what is called the Incarnation. The second person of the Most Blessed Trinity from the heights of heaven descended to earth into the heart, into the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And that's why we say, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. What do we see in this? We see in this great love for God as well as great love for all of humanity as well as great love for you and for me. Because Mary's yes resulted in Jesus becoming flesh she gave the human nature to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and Jesus is our Savior. So through Mary's yes, we have access to God the Father in heaven. So why not spend a few minutes, maybe even an hour, contemplating the wonderful mystery of the Annunciation, or called also the Incarnation, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us.